Hello, my collective. How are you guys doing today? I love you, collective. I appreciate each and every one of you all, and I hope I can just bring a smile to your face today and uh, bring a little healing to the collective. Um, uh, I just hope to help humanity. I love you guys, and uh, let me see what kind of... I just want to see what pulls out these little cards. We're not crying. Ooh, somebody ain't crying. Welcome back, my loyal support. I love you guys. And if you're new, I welcome you and I appreciate you. And I got some some new twin flame cards and untruths, untold truths of the heart. And uh, I think that you'll enjoy it, okay? I think that you'll enjoy it, you guys. And uh, we ain't crying over here. What else does this person want to talk about? Oh, gosh, you might be a drug counselor. Or a drug counselor knows that you ain't crying over this old son will be it till ever it is. <laughs> Man or woman, you know, take stories it is. Gosh, you're going through a great awakening at the moment. Ooh, you're, this great awakening is leading you to be a drug counselor and helping others to come off drugs. That's amazing. I have a cousin that does this in Knoxville, Tennessee. I love you, cuz. I love you, Regina. I love you. Um, but anyways, we're not crying. We're meant to be drug counselors. Even if we don't have a license for it, we talk to the collective about drugs and how, how shitty it does us. Um, they're, so, they're doing black magic on us. Somebody's doing black magic on us. And uh, we'll find out who that is in a minute. What else about this? Reality is you're in separation and you're you're all not crying anymore. Uh, siblings are looking up to you. Your siblings are looking up to you. The, you're making them aware of black magic and things that they didn't realize was going on. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know it. I used to didn't know it, but I do now. Um, you're a drug counselor and, and there's some cook out here that scratches his or her ass. That's who is doing black magic. And you're and um you respect other people's boundaries, drug counselor. You're going through a great awakening and you're and you're progressing for forgiving your enemies. Yeah, because they did freaking black magic on you. And this man and woman though, they did a scratch their eyes and then didn't even wash their hands and stuff, probably. Uh, what uh, what about people like that, yeah? Siblings look up to you. A lot of your all siblings might be uh, looking up to you and they've changed their mind. They're not mad or angry anymore about incest. They've changed their mind. They're not mad or angry anymore about incest. Yeah, because I guess that they understand that. I mean, you all can say that it ain't true or pretend that it, you know, but I know and I think my siblings know. I, I don't lie. I don't lie about shit like that. I wouldn't. And all I know is, um, I believe it was meant to happen to me because I was supposed to help a bunch of drug addicts doing a, doing a practice like like this, you know. And I know drug addicts are connected to my channel because I've done two or three months ago. I done had a reading about it, Egyptian puzzle time, yeah. And uh, the, these people, uh, your siblings and everybody, they're looking up to you because this is an equal give and take relationship, and we're not. We're not crying, you know. We know how to respect other people's boundaries. And reality is you're in separation. Karmics be bitching always. <laughs> they're mad. Uh, they're mad because uh, they, the reality is they can't get around you anymore because you separated from these crying ice bitches. <laughs> and they're mad because you don't cry over them anymore. And, you went through a great awakening and you're progressing for forgiving these enemies that you worked with at a restaurant, maybe? And, or at you worked with um, at an office where you counseled drug people? I don't know. But you're living wild and free. Ooh, you're living wild and free. I love you guys. It's fun. Do y'all love how I did this today? I love you guys. Uh, uh, oh, and uh, this person that is a uh, Doing black magic and the cook scratches the ice and everything. And um, somebody's, uh, they're getting delays waiting and waiting. They're they are doing black magic trying to 
make a delay in uh, your your success coming, but it, you're, it's coming because you forgive these people. And somebody's mom didn't give them the correct way of loving like she should have. Maybe it was this mom. Um, if you've been incested, uh, this mom didn't give you the correct way of loving. And she, and she was mad over this incest stuff. And now she might have changed her mind and believes you or something. I don't know. That's what that story right there is saying, though. You know, what else on her? We're not crying during all this separation with these karmics that's be bitching. What else about that, Spirit? I love you, Spirit. Oh, it's karmic. It's a jealous lover. This karmic was wanting you to be bitching over. They're just a jealous lover in all their relationships, whoever this karmic is. That's all that means, okay? And uh, drug counselor, you you got a pretty face, and you respect people's boundaries, and you know how to give and res give and take equally in a relationship. And um, this great awakening, you're progressing for forgiving your enemies, and you're living wild and free. And the police is getting called on this uh, person that is involved in doing black magic. And they scratched their eyes while they cook. And then they go feed people. And they was trying to send delays to your life. These old and moldy people. Huh? Ooh. And um, maybe this mom didn't give the correct way of loving. Because she got incested too. And she was mad. And she changed her mind. Because she remembers all the sexual abuse she had to endure. So you and her, 707. That's what it's saying. Ain't that something? That's crazy. I hope this helps somebody. I mean, usually my readings do try to come together pretty well, and y'all know that. Your face will light up for him or her. Whoever is jealous, is jealous lover. Uh, hang on a minute. Mama didn't. Uh, it says, you're caring and nurturing mother. You got a very pretty face. And, and mama didn't raise no damn fool. <laughs> what else about black magic? Old and moldy. Get your... Sh these black people... Uh, these uh, black uh, magic people. It says get your chakras in line. So they've been uh, fucking with your... They did root. They've done root work on you or something. Or they've been throwing magic towards your crown chakra or something. But I think they might have did a root work on you. And somebody might have got sexually abused that drives a Jeep. And their mom didn't love him the correct way. And he's sad that you had to endure all this incest. He's actually fucking mad at this. That, no, that nobody uh, helped you. He's actually fucking mad. And he's changed his mind. And he looks up to you, he or she. Whoever that is, you all. That's just what it said now. They're looking up to you, business owner. They know that they can't tire you down anymore, and money is going to flow effortlessly to you. I love spirit. The old love spirit. I love spirit, you guys. I do, too. What about these uh people that we ain't crying over anymore? hesitation uh they wanted you to stay heartbroken and crying they didn't want you to go towards your dreams that's all it means okay what else blessings look drug counselor it landed right on it it says you have protection because um you give attention to your uh spirit team we, we're sending you love, and your guides are always with you. Yes, that's so true. I, I thank you for those blessings, Divine. You help so well. You help so well. Great awakening. I love you, Spirit. Yes. Oh, if you have a question, it's yes. Yes, there's your question. I should have said dang it. But the answer is yes. It says, uh, yes, you need to live wild and free. Yes, the police got called on you. Yes, it's your frenemies, and you forgive them. Yes, you're going through a great awakening. Yes, mama didn't raise no fool. 
Yes, you're receiving blessings. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you're rising above all this black magic. And this man that scratched his eyes all time and sent delays and waiting, waiting. This old and moldy old man or woman or both of them. They, because, uh, you know, they needed to get their shockers in line. And you're teaching people to get their shockers in line. But they did black magic on your chakras. They did not want them in line. And you're rising above all this drama. And all these obstacles and pettiness. You found the strength to rise. You're rising, baby. I love you. You're rising above all that. Siblings, receive. You're open-minded. You're, you're very abundant and you're ready. It's your time to receive. So, I mean... Ooh, whoever this person is that drives a Jeep that knows that you got sexually abused and, and they know that their mama didn't love them the correct way. They're mad at these fucking people. Uh, it's time to receive what Divine had planned for you. <laughs> this is about your self-worth, about your values, your self-esteem. You need to shine your confidence and be empowered by valuing yourself. yes. Love yourself, all yourself, even all the wrongs. Love yourself, you know, and stop hesitating. Stop hesitating over his past heartbreak. You got a blessing coming to you. This is about your beliefs. Similar or clashing belief systems can bring you together or keep you apart. Nope, they're going to bring you together. Yes, your beliefs are. Stop hesitating over his broken heart. Being afraid to move forward. You are worthy of this. You have a lot of self-worth. Tell yourself you're worthy of it. You're worthy of it. I love you guys. And I love y'all. Please hit subscribe. You all, you will receive blessings for belief, for having belief in me. I have belief in you all. This is about your awesome beliefs. Yes. And yes, they called the law on you. And yes, 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 you rose above. I love spirit. And yes... Uh, somebody can't stop thinking about you. They, they, they do this shit repetitively. They can't stop thinking of you. This is about an attachment. Reliving the past. Let it go. You need to, yes, you need, the police got called and it could be someone from your past that you need to let go of. That's what it's saying. Yeah, they did. They wanted you to feel at a crossroads. Uh, this is about divergent paths, choices, confusion, follow your intuition. See, they they put black magic on your intuition. Yeah, they put black magic on your intuition. They wanted you to feel confusion, this old and moldy sons of booches. And you're receiving all these blessings and people's looking up to you because you're in solitude and you're, you retreated to do some introspection. During all this silence, you, you learn to go deep within yourself and bring out the best self to others. That's all it means, you guys. That's all it means. Ooh, yeah, because you surrendered. You know, you detached from all this crazy stuff and you trust. You're just free. Now I'm free. I'm free falling. Yeah, I'm free. Wow, I'm free falling, free falling now. I'm free falling and I'm free falling now. I'm free falling. Have faith that all will be well. So Tom Petty come through to tell you, surrender your beliefs. You're going to receive blessings. Surrender your beliefs that you're not supposed to move forward. Surrender that damn belief. Because yes, you're supposed to move forward. You just had to pause. This was about, uh, and, and, and you had to pause and be in inaction and calm and step back and wait for the sign. Look how beautiful that is. That's the beautifulest down tree I've ever saw with the sun coming through it like that. Ain't that amazing? I love that. You had to surrender and pause. Now you're being seen as a mystery. Yeah, look, you had to pause. Yes, you had to pause from thinking about this shit all the time. You rose above all this black magic and making you feel like uh, your intuition wasn't correct. You got your shockers in line. And um, now you can, you throw their magic back to them. You intrigue others. You, f you feel like suspenseful to them, you know. And you're entering unknown territory. See, you're rising above. You're entering this unknown territory. You're using your intuition. You're getting ready to receive blessings during your solitude in the material world, in the material world, you're getting ready to receive money. 
You're, you're going to have a great career. This is a status. Oh, God, your status is going to be high, baby. This is uh, living in a third dimension and making your mark. You're doing it in a real life. Blam, bloom, blam. And people's looking up to you. And I'm looking up to y'all. And I love you guys. And this is all about cycles in life. That's all it is. You got the momentum like that damn wave. Psh, psh. See that wave? It's just crashing over like, look at this shit. This is life force helping you. This is all about life cycles. Letting go of the old, bringing in the new. Stay grounded in the new. Stay grounded in the new because you're getting ready to travel. Oh, you're getting ready to travel. Oh, gosh, you're going to be meeting people and, and being on all these adventures and ready for these new experiences. And you're going to be balanced. It's like yin and yang, darkness and light. You're staying centered in your higher self. I love you, spirit. This is about your creativity. You're an inspiration to others, and you produce a lot of work. You produce a lot of creations. Yes, you do. And you bring out the great what's within, and you bring it out to all. Yes, and I think I do. You know, and they was trying to split your energy from your family. Yes, they was. It says split energy from the family. No, forgive. No, forgive that feeling and that separated your all sacred journey. You hear that? Whoever that is, I don't know. But uh, I hope this helps somebody out there today because I thought it was a good reading and I'm going to get off here. So remember to uh, stop he hesitating. You're, you're worthy of this. Surrender all this shit to the divine. You're getting ready to receive your blessings with your beliefs because, yes, these people, you're going through a great awakening. Your mama didn't raise no damn fool. They called the police on you. And you, could, you keep reliving shit that you did in the past and you got to let it go. And rise above and stop being stuck and follow your intuition. Go towards what spirit's leading you to. And you have, because you're receiving the gift during all this solitude and you're getting ready to receive money. And I love you, spirit. And that's so true. And I, I hope that this helps somebody out there today. You know, I really hope that it helped one of you guys out here today. And, oh, we got wishing well. Uh, lucky in Europe and North America, water has been long associated with various deities being such a precious commodity. Celts believe that wells were sacred places and would throw in offerings to the gods, such as coins and jewelry, for their wishes to be granted. Uh, Mimir, a Nordic god renowned for his wisdom and also a water spirit, guarded a well known as Mizamiza Brunner. A legend was that drinking the water of this well would grant wisdom at a price. In the case of this Norse god Odin, that price was his eye. Make a wish and throw a coin into a well. If it lands heads up, your wish is granted. If it lands heads down, you'll have to try again. So what it's telling me is, um, because you've been wishing well, you've been wishing well, and you wasn't wishing ill on anyone. You was you had well good intentions, and because you've done that, you're getting ready to receive uh, great luck. It told you, flip a coin, and if it says yes, then you're going to be lucky. That's what it just said. And if it says no, then you got to try again, okay? All right, well, I love you guys, and I'm going to get off here so I can up upload this for the collective Monday. All right, peace. Love you guys.